All right, Gold Digger, I have a test for you. Comment below, is this my voice or is this an AI generated voice? Focus on improving yourself, not proving yourself. I'm gonna do it again. Focus on improving yourself, not proving yourself. Focus on improving yourself, not proving yourself. Okay, so I will tell you that when I first used this tool I'm gonna show you, it didn't sound exactly like me. There's actually an advanced feature that you're not gonna know about unless you watch this tutorial because I literally had to go back in a couple of times to finally figure it out and I stumbled upon it. So what I'm gonna teach you today is how to create voiceovers using AI and I'm specifically using 11 laps. Now, this is the thing, why would you wanna do that, right? It's kind of weird a little bit, it's a little creepy. Well, this is the this is what's cool about it. If you have reels and you wanna add um, voiceovers to it, you wanna be able to take a story and maybe there's some footage of you working at your desk, walking on the beach, or you even wanna take faceless uh, videos, which is my personal favorite. Well, you know the ones where they're really inspirational, there's a girl working out and she's making a smoothie and she's working on her business, have you seen those? Well. It's cool if you could add some voice over to it with your voice, right? Or maybe you uh, want to produce more content, but you just can't seem to get yourself to do it. You can use the power of something such as an AI voiceover and, and having uh, your voice replicated to do just that. So it's not perfect, obviously. Nothing's going to replace your own voice. But as somebody who speaks a lot, and I have run into voice restraint issues where I'm speaking so much, I need to just take it, dial it back a notch. This is a really powerful tool to create some voiceovers, just add a little fun to what you're doing. I'm all about the creativity when it comes to making content. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you how to use it and we're going to jump in. The first thing you're going to need to do is pick your plan. So come down here. Once you sign up, it's probably going to prompt you, but there is a zero dollar feature if you want to try it out. The first one I had was starter, which is nothing, right? Five bucks a month. But I wasn't able to do the advanced AI feature I was telling you about where it was really sounded like me. So what I would recommend doing is for this tutorial is go ahead and get the creator account. You only get to choose, you only get to make your advanced voice one of them because it's, you have to verify it's you. So this allows people or min minimizes people copying other people's voices. So I had to verify it was my own voice by doing a, a live recording. It was, it was a thing. So that's how they do it. You only get one. So I would recommend doing that to see the comparison between the two. And then you can always cancel it if you don't like it or aren't using it. So you're going to pick your plan. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to voices. So the first thing, they have a bunch in here. So if you're somebody who has maybe a faceless account and you want to be able to use some of the ones already in here, you can totally do that. I obviously am using this for my personal uh, brand. So you're going to click add a new voice. And then what you're going to see on here is instant voice cloning. So this is actually where you're going to upload. It's up to 10 megabytes, which is not very much. And it actually, I want to say it has a limitation. Here we go. So the limitation is uh, providing more than five minutes of audio uh, is um, in total brings little improvement. So basically what you want to do is uh, look for a file that you have that is um, 10 megabytes or less, or I believe less than five minutes. So you're going to just, you can actually, if you use something like StreamYard or Zoom, you can download just the audio from past Facebook lives you've done. You want to think about it this way, because I, the first time I did it, I just recorded myself talking. You know, I was like, hi, I'm Kimberly. And, to, and it's just not how I talk when I'm teaching. So then I went and uploaded, oh, I uploaded uh, a short version of me going live or doing something. And that was way more accurate. Okay. And you can give it a label. How would you describe your voice? This isn't really a big deal because it's you, but you can describe yourself there and you hereby confirm. So after you do that, that's going to be this one here, Inspo with KO. This is a clone of my voice. Both the ones who give it and the ones who receive it. Love cures people. Both the ones who give it and the ones who receive it. Okay, I don't remember what that was from, but you could, I don't know if you can hear it because I'm sharing my screen. Um, but that is one that is with that simple cloning system. It's very fast. It's immediate. So if you want to try something really quick when you're adding a new voice, choose instant voice cloning. That's just fast. Oh, here we go. Contain one speaker and be over one minute long and not contain background noise. Okay. Now this is where the one I showed you at the beginning is very accurate. So you're going to click voices, add a new voice. Then you're going to come to professional voice cloning. As I said, it's, you can only clone your own voice. So the voice limit of one is reached. So what you do for this one is it actually needs, uh, they, they recommend it up to three hours of content uploaded. So I just took lives I'd done, a workshop I'd done that was an hour long. 
and uploaded those. After I did that, it says it takes four to six hours for that to kind of be accepted. After that, you will verify your voice. So there'll be a button for it where you can verify your voice. It's literally like one sentence you talk, you have to use the same device that you used for this and it has to be you and they verify it. So if it doesn't sound like the the uploading, then they will not approve it. So don't do anything sketchy with this. Sorry to interrupt, but I have a special announcement. We have a brand new webinar from brand to bankroll. If you're somebody who you want to monetize your expertise or learn how to become an expert in your space and create that consistent revenue, then this webinar is for you. Not only are you going to get some amazing gifts, you're going to get an incredible workbook to go with the webinar, but you're also going to get a 90-day content strategy. You're also going to learn for the first time ever, I've never taught this, the Boss Lady Blueprint. I'm going to show you my simple strategy to take one piece of content, I call it the signature content, use that for your entire weekly content strategy. Could you imagine with the click of a button, you can map all that out? I'm going to show you how to do it. So click below this video to get yourself signed up and I will see you there. And then after that, they have to review it, audit it and accept it. And then you'll get an email that says your professional voice cloning is ready. And when you get that, you can go here. So for either one, if you want to do the instant or the professional voice cloning, you're going to come up to text to speech. So this is what I have here, focus on improving yourself, not proving yourself. And then right here, as you can see, you can toggle to, I have inspo with KO is that one, that quick one I made that isn't quite as accurate. And then this is my professional voice cloning. And then these are all the ones that they have on here as default. You can search there. And then this is important. When you come over here, uh, over here, there's some settings. So what you want to do is stability is uh, more stable, right? It's not going to allow as much variance. And then similarity you want on high. It does not default default to high. I don't really understand that, but maybe because people are using different voices, I'm not sure. And so what I would do is after you've uploaded your voice and you've typed some stuff on here, then what I would do is play with the settings, put them way down, try moving each one and then just replaying it and seeing what sounds the best for yourself. That's something I would do. And then there are some other features on here I'm not using. There's a voice changer. So unlock the power of cutting edge technology to generate realistic, captivating speech in a wide range of languages. So there's speech synthesis in here. Then there, uh, there are voices, which we just did. Then there's sound effects. So you can actually generate sound effects, which could be good if you're doing kind of dynamic videos. Then there's projects. So you can search different projects and that way you can build out something a little bit more, you know, with some different steps if you need to. Voiceover, so you can upload a video to add a voiceover. So remember I was talking about if you had some B-roll of yourself, then add this in here and then you can create the voiceover for it. Dubbing studio, it's a little beyond what most people would need, but they have that. And then audio native. And then this, this one might be new, voice isolator. Experience the precision of our innovative technology to deliver crystal clear isolated speech in any setting. So I I think there's a demo for it. You can see if that would be helpful. I'm not going to use that, but I just wanted to show that to you really quickly. So as you can see, I mean, you can get in here and create something really cool that you could use for voiceovers and your content, all of that. So I think it's awesome. I think it's worth exploring for some of you. You're obviously still watching this video if you understand that um, and agree with it. And also I have a gift for you. It's my top 10 YouTube videos of all time. So look below this video if you found this helpful. Mine are very teaching oriented. So if you like to learn things when it comes to monetizing your brand on social media, that's what I'm all about. So appreciate you watching this. Subscribe. So we drop two videos a week. I don't want you to miss those. And if this was helpful, take a screenshot, throw it in your stories and tag me at the gold digger girl. I would love to give you a shout out for doing that. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, get lit in your business and set your soul on fire. (laughs) 